I'm Jack De Groot, the CEO of the St Vincent de Paul Society here in New South Wales. On Thursday the 3rd of August at the Parliament of New South Wales, the petition that Vinnie's has sponsored throughout the state will be presented by the Honourable Damien Tudor, Member for Epping, to the Parliament. This petition calls for inclusionary zoning. And inclusionary zoning is really to make sure that there is an increase, a significant increase, in the number of social and affordable houses in New South Wales. That in every development across the state, that at least 15% of all of those developments be dedicated to those families and individuals on low income, and thus why it's called social and affordable housing. So to reach that target of 15% of inclusionary zoning on new developments throughout the state would mean that we would take care of the 23,000 housing sh shortage that we have of social and affordable housing. It would mean that the public housing wait lists that go out to 10 years will be uh, significantly reduced and the backlog of those desperately in need but not the most critical would be taken care of. Social and affordable housing is something that is really the responsibility of governments to work in partnership with organisations like Vinnie's and our community housing provider, Emily Housing, to meet the needs that many low income families have in regard to their housing. It's a way of actually taking care of those on low incomes who are not homeless yet but are on the cusp of housing stress and insecurity. So this move by uh, the Vinnies to actually get this petition, the nearly 17,000 signatures from across the state <coughs> to bring a debate in the Parliament of New South Wales is incredibly important. To have a Liberal member of the Parliament present the petition, to have members of the ALP support that inclusionary zoning target and to go further, to have independence, to have Greens, is crucially important because nearly every party in New South Wales over the last 30 to 40 years has struggled to actually make a difference in the housing crisis that faces our state. This needs a multi-partisan approach. It needs all of the Parliament to work together to bring out a housing solution for low-income individuals and their families. So this is no longer a question about whether people will be able to afford to buy their own home. It's more a question of are we going to guarantee the right to home for renters and to make sure that that right to home consists of a quality home, a home that brings security, a home that brings stability so that people can participate in their communities, can have their kids consistently going to the same school, can mean that they can live close to their work. That means that every community will have a teacher, a nurse, a police officer, an emergency worker living in the area in which they work. This is a really important social justice initiative and it's also about the flourishing of communities in New South Wales. So a target of 15% of inclusionary zoning to bring about social and affordable housing it may just sound like a dry target, but it's really about how we create a community where everyone participates and where there is a security of housing for all those in the community desperate in need. So join us next Thursday, the 3rd of August, at Parliament House, New South Wales. Be part of learning be part of seeing the democracy in action as the debate occurs in the House and see how good policy is made that benefits the whole community. Thanks for your support for this petition and the change it will bring for those who do it tough in our community and those who have the right to hire.